Welcome to the charge! I'm Sir Franklin, and we're taking to the field today with Tangles. I don't know anything about this, I just saw some of the screenshots and they looked creepy. That's all I know. I hope you're doing well today. Let's ride. I am Basil. My story begins with an end, and ends with a beginning. I was part of a team of eight soldiers chosen to participate in a mysterious mission in an abandoned camp. Creepy. On the first week of our arrival, I suffered a serious injury during training and fell into a coma. What were you doing during I training? I fought death during that time, and I couldn't remember anything except hearing my comrades fighting death on the other side. I would hear their screams from time to time until silence filled the place. I had no idea how much time had passed during my coma. It is certainly not a short time. How are but we still alive? my story alive? didn't end there. It had just begun. Okay, I had to mess with some settings. This thing is cranking up my CPU usage. Behind every hour lies hours. Thank you. How did we live in a coma? Like, was somebody feeding us? I don't get it. Alright. You got. There's a tear in the mattress. I need a sharp tool to cut it. Got it, got it, got it. Cool little premise, though. To the friend of yesterday and the enemy of the future. Basil. Basil. I forgot how the guy pronounced it at the start. I know you'll read this letter after I have left you alone, but I have no other choice. I left the camp after learning the bitter truth, a truth you are yet to discover, one that will weigh heavy on your heart as the years pass. What? I was supposed to leave you here to die, but harsh reality shows me that it won't happen even if I tried. I feel a wildness that pushes me to let you endure the pain, yet I know you'll carry the burden of those events in your heart for years to come. Interesting. I leave you this letter as a sign of what happened. You don't understand it now, but you'll surely understand later. I have no choice but to leave you here in this dark island and this cursed camp. We will meet again, but in what manner? I don't understand. Okay... Do we have feet? Can't tell. Can't look down far enough. It's locked. All right. We need a sharp tool. Maybe we need to go out through the door first. Creepy. Who are they? Do we just hear something from outside? Interesting. Oh, my bad. Okay, doesn't seem like... There's a lot we could do unless I miss something on the floor. I mean, there's... I mean, something bad happened here. Unless that's just red paint. We're just gonna say that's red paint. Crouch. No. We're pretty limited on what we can do, so I'm guessing we've already checked everything we can. We looked in this room, there wasn't a lot to check. The rain suddenly stopped. Oh, there's somebody there! Okay. Who's that guy? <laughs> Is he crying? It must be the exit from this place. All right. I don't know if we need to investigate. I think we're good. There's no bodies either. Even though he said his buddies were fighting something. Closed. I 
might be able to open it through the control room. Sure. I think the door is locked with a key card control device. But I doubt I'll be able to use it with the power outage. Alright, so we've got to fix the power. I think it can be fixed, but I guess I need to search around to find useful item. Sure, I get that. Oh, is that electrical tape? Is that what we needed? This tape might be useful. Okay, hey, what does inventory look like? All right. Hello? All right, let's go back. And fix that. Yes. Did it work? Yes. No, we don't want to go in there. We're good. Oh, is it the TV? No, the TV's not on. Oh, it's the radio. Okay. Could be a ghost. Hard to tell. One fuse is missing. Finally, I found some time to write in this memo. It's been a long and exhausting day. I had to fix some electrical equipment that broke down after the weird things that happened two days ago. There's one thing that bothers me. One of the fuses that is needed for the electricity efficiency has disappeared. I learned that the security guard took it and didn't return. I would like to report this problem to my commander, but he's too busy preparing for the next mission. Maybe I'll try again tomorrow. Until then, I'll leave this memo here in case the security guard comes back and wants to return the fuse. If anyone's reading this note, please don't mess with any of the equipment here. It's very sensitive and dangerous if used incorrectly. I can't think of a logical reason for the security guard to take this fuse. Maybe it's just a misunderstanding, or maybe there's something bigger and more evil going on. I hope to find out the truth before it's too late. Interesting. Okay. So, maybe we can go into some other area now. Or maybe there's one that I overlooked. We were able to fix that. I don't like that that car's turned on. It's a little creepy. But what else can we do? Can we go in through here? Oh, a torture room. Blood. The steam is blocking my way. I need to find a way to stop the steam flow. <sighs> I don't... I don't know. We don't really have any other items. Uh, well, this car's on too. It'd be nice if we could just hop in there and ram the gate, but I guess we can't do that. Can we get in here now? We can! Okay. Maybe I just didn't see that we were able to do that before. This is a pretty cool area. I actually do like the setting. All right. Never imagined that our trip turned to a nightmare. I was enjoying my stay in the camp despite the fact that it was on a remote and lifeless island. I came with my colleagues to do our duty towards the country and we saw it as a great opportunity to learn something new, get away from the pressures of the city. But what happened recently is quite the opposite as unusual things began to appear on the island. Some of my colleagues complained about losing some of their belongings and some of them said they saw and heard strange things in the middle of the night. I did not believe them at first and I thought they were exaggerating until I myself witnessed a terrifying incident last night. I heard some noises and scary screams in the basement that is used as a prison in the camp. I went to see- I have to like take a breath. I went to see what was happening, but I found the basement door locked with a chain. I was so afraid I did not dare to open it, so I quickly went back to my room and tried to sleep. Just ignore the bad scary things. When I woke up in the morning, I found a leak in the steam room, but the problem's not here. But the valve I need to stop the flow of steam has disappeared, and if I do not find it soon, there might be damage and losses in the camp. I searched for it everywhere without success. I do not know who took it. Does the chaos that happened last night have anything to do with its disappearance? I tried to ask for help from the commander and tell him everything that happened, but I did not see him since last night. I wish I could get out of this island before I go crazy or something bad happens to me. Interesting. History, truth, dreams. Okay. I can plug a valve in here. There's a lot of little puzzles.
pet food or skin. That's got it. I guess we can't equip it to defend ourselves. What could we use that for? I don't know. I don't su I mean, it says valve. I know it does. Yeah, all right. Well, we know there's at least something here in the camp with us, and I'm sure it doesn't mean us any kind of harm and just wants to cut. Okay, we can't go in the water. <laughs> Whoa! What? No one is inside the vehicle. I don't like that. It's a little bit creepy. When the jeep hits that fence. The door is chained. I need to find a tool to break it. And there's a lot of stuff we need to find, but the oh, 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 no, 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 we have the knife. We can go back into the first room and then get whatever was in the mattress. And I'm sure it's going to be helpful. I remember to open the door. These graphics are really good. I was trying to get my computer to handle it. Oh. Where did this hanging corpse come from? Huh. Where did that dead body come from? I don't know. Probably something that's not here to be nice. Use you and yep. Guard's card. Nice. I didn't expect to find the guard's card in here. It's because you didn't believe. You didn't believe. Nope. I'm waiting for this thing to start wiggling. Guards card, we can go into that room. Kind of on the lookout now. Seems like there's a supernatural element here. Ooh, it's bloody. It's working. All right, we got a couple things we can kind of look at. We do need that. There's a locker key. Can't sleep. Something inexplicable happened. It was a normal night like any other night. I was in the control room watching Lost and drinking. T I was watching that cool TV show, Lost. When it was midnight, I saw something in the steam room through the monitors. I wasn't sure what it was, so I left the control room and went to the steam room. When I entered the steam room, I didn't find anything strange, but I heard some weird noises behind me. But the room was empty. Suddenly, I heard the, the door closing hard behind me. It's interesting how your brain filters out the if it's mentioned twice next to each other. It's like your brain's hardwired to be efficient. Closing hard behind me. I went to the door and tried to open it, but it was locked so tightly I couldn't get out. I felt panic and fear. I didn't know what happened, so I shouted at the top of my voice, hoping someone would help me. Then I heard a sound from outside as if someone was pulling out the fuse to disable the door lock. Then the door opened, and I ran to the control room and didn't look behind me. Interesting. I have no explanation for what happened, and I don't know who closed the door or and who helped me, but it's something that can't be ignored. I suspect the crazy geologist, for he may have something to do with what has happened, or he may be telling the truth in his explanations of everything that happens. But what I do know is that this camp is not safe anymore. Since we arrived at the camp, strange things keep happening. I'll leave this note here in case something happens to me. It's like everybody just seems ready. They're like, yeah, I'm probably gonna die. I guess the lever is useless with the unstable electricity. But I might find a way to keep the electricity stable. Oh, okay, so now, now we need to go to the locker that was at the start. That hurts a grand. Hmm, all right. Is the dead body still there? Yes, it is. Hello, buddy. Now the locker key. Open up. Another dead body. What is happening here? Oh, <laughs> the lightning strike got me. Even time in this place suffocates in mystery. Is it rewinding? It kind of seems like it's rewinding. All right. 
there's at least two bodies. Now, I don't remember where we need to use the bolt cutter. Can I pass on that? I'm... The dead surround me from everywhere. Interesting. Alright. I don't remember the fuck being this thick. That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. I kind of like the dude's voice. I think it lends itself well to this uh, kind of an environment. But, dude's pretty calm. You gotta give him that. Okay, good. So yeah, bolt cutters were here. The chain has been broken. Now we get to see something. Alright. More blood, always a positive. <laughs> Relax. Is he the same guy I saw in the window? What is he doing here? He's probably here to kill you. A warplane crashes on a deserted island, killing the pilot in a tragic incident. A jet belonging to the National Air Force crashed on a deserted island located in a remote area of the sea, killing the pilot who was flying it. According to official sources, the jet was on a military mission over the camp that is located on the island, which has been witnessing violent clashes with the rebels. The cause of the crash is not yet clear, but there are suspicions that it may have come under fire from one of the warring factions. Again, I have to keep taking a breath. The Army General Command announced an investigation into the incident, mourning the pilot and praising his bravery and sacrifices in defense of the country. They stressed that this incident would not deter them from continuing to fight the rebels and maintain security and stability in the country. Expressing condolences to the pilot's family and colleagues. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. I am just going to let you pause it and read each page if you want. Otherwise, I'm just going to try and get through this. Okay, guy gets arrested. Locked in a cold, dark cell. Been three days since he saw the last guard. Food or water. Interesting fluctuations fluctuations in the electromagnetic field environment thing. The camp's located above a very strong electromagnetic field. Okay. That can create disturbances in time. Interesting. Oh, so it's like a time travel kind of thing. Seeing corpses of soldiers from old wars. What? Yikes. All right, so this guy was actually figuring it out. Truth. The more mysterious it becomes. No escape. Someone is trying to understand what really happened to this place. All right. Another body. He dead. I guess in here now. We're following the leader. I... I don't want to go down there. <laughs> I have to think carefully before going down the stairs. Is that like a hint? I... I can't do anything else, I'm pretty sure. I think we got everything. You figured we'd at least grab a candle or something, like, from in there, but... Yeah, we can't go into any other room. I don't think we have... Yeah, we have nothing... No inventory. It says to think carefully, but there's nothing that we can do differently right now. So I guess we just go in. That's a dead body. Well, that's good. I can't pull the lever. There is an electrical problem. So one guy's alive. He's kind of figured out whatever's going on here. Oh, it's a dead end. <laughs> Creepy. We're 
just gonna calmly walk out of here. I'm a little concerned. Hello? Is someone knocking the door? Yeah, we're gonna ignore that. <gasps> oh. You good? Oh my god. What is happening to me? Is it a... a fluctuation in the electromagnetic field? Oh, it's the war- it's the plane! So yeah, this is, it's definitely, it's a time thing. <laughs> no way. Is that a vision? I'd like to leave now, thank you. Weird. The time loop stuff freaks me out, because you never know, like, where you're going to get caught in it. And I would hate to have to repeat the same event. Just forever. Here we go. Oh, right, the steam. Okay. Perfect. It doesn't seem like we have, um... Oh, the body's gone. It doesn't seem like we have any stamina to worry about. Which is good. Use. Again, I'm just going to try and breeze through this. You can pause it and read it if you want. Okay, circuit breaker is broken. Technician's reporting it. Okay. Body's back. Oh no, we gotta go back in here to put the fuse in. To, to get through the gate, right? Okay. We have to do both? I guess we have to go flip the other switch, because I don't know what else we're going to do. But we're going to keep calm. We're not going to scream. What a long night. Yeah, no kidding, Basil. No kidding. Um, okay, maybe I'll scream. You never know. It's at the very end of all this crap. Oh, no. All right. Am I going crazy? Yes. We're just going to rush through this because... This place drives me crazy. Yes. Me too, bud. Me too. That's not good. Oh, we have to turn it off and then go through everything. Ah, oh, nuts. All right. Nope. We're leaving. Oh! Buddy, you not looking good, my guy. You look a little dead. I'm gonna be honest. Almost there. 
Last little thing. Then we're good. Home free. Finally. What could go wrong? What? The door is locked. This thing is suspicious. Uh oh. Is it safe for me to go out now? I don't think it is. Can we leave? Oh, look at us. Alright. Good. None of our business. None of our business. Cool! Okay. Well, that was Tangles. It looks like that was fun. Little short game, just kind of about an island mysteriously um, channeling flows in time. It seems like different people, objects pop up in different places, depending on where you are, I guess. But the puzzles were neat. Pretty straightforward item finding game. I liked it, though. You know, small area to explore. It was a neat, unique setting. Uh, I like the background, and I like that we had you know, a pretty clear objective that there was something creepy going on in the background and that we could discover more about the island. There are secret documents that you could find throughout. I don't know if we found all of them, but I encourage you to also try the game out because it was pretty fun and I think you would like it as well. So let me know what you thought about this adventure if you would like to see more like it. If you're not already, please consider subscribing because it means the world to me and it is a huge support for the channel. Once again, thank you for joining the charge and I will see you on the next battle. Till then.